Hey guys, last month when I went down to California with my family, I met up with an old friend, Caitlin Denning. She's a flutist, but I didn't actually know that she played the flute until I reconnected with her like last year or two years ago or something like that. I ended up doing a random little interview type video thing with her. If you guys haven't seen my other video with my old piano teacher, Carmen Sita Espiris, just click somewhere here and I'll put a link there. Go check it out. I mentioned in the other video that um, I'm actually starting to make other videos that have more to do with flute things. Um, I'm finally getting requests in from you guys on what types of videos and what types of questions you have about the flute that I can answer. Go ahead and keep requesting. I would really like to build up a long list of videos that I need to make. I actually don't know what you guys want to know about the flute, so please ask. Okay, so anyway, hope you guys enjoy this little interview video thing with my friend. And I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, I'm here with my friend Caitlin. We went to Moreau Catholic High School yeah. for a year together. I didn't know that you played the flute. Uh-huh. Until I found you again on Facebook. Yeah. So how did you get started? Well, it was like fifth grade band. And my choices were flute or trombone. Because my dad played trombone in high school and college. And my mom played flute in college. And I tried the trombone, and I couldn't get to the end, and I'm like, ha, ah, no, I'm going to do the little one that fits in my backpack. That was my decision to play flute, and then once I could finally make sound, I don't know, kind of liked it. We were talking about our senior recitals, which were fun. <laughs> Very fun. Can you tell them a little bit what happened? I was doing the um, Iber flute concerto, three movements. Why do I do that? I don't know. Three. <laughs> in the first movement. I was about five lines in, and it was like right before like a free measure rest, and I skipped a line, didn't notice it, and got to the rest before the company said it, I'm like, why is he not playing what he should be playing about this rest? And then I realized that I skipped a line, and I'm just like, ah, I just kind of sit there and waited until he like played the part that was the rest, and then I started playing again. That was okay, you know, I was like, okay, whoo, over that like horrible part, the rest of the movement went fine, the second movement went fine, and then I got to the third movement. The third movement is like five pages long. And it's not really horrible page turns, so like a week before I had finally photocopied my pages and I hadn't practiced it with the pages and flipping and stuff. And so we finished the second movement and I turned the page this, to the third movement and I'm like, okay, John, go ahead, it's our plan. So my company is so I said, first note, I realized, crap, I was set up with pages and I'm not going to be able to like turn stuff in time. And <clears throat> the last two measures of the first page I had memorized because it was easy. So I flipped like two measures early and I'm like, okay. I've got like six measure rest coming up ahead, I'll just play through this and I'll set it up then, which I did. And then I realized it's right before I had to play again that I pulled up the wrong page, like three pages ahead of where I should be, as opposed to what I needed. And I just saw like, crap! And so I had another like two measure rest, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna like flip this around and be super cool. And then I like dropped pages to the ground. <laughs> oh crap, I really need that page. I kind of like pick up pages and Pages are flying, I'm like, oh crap, play, and I can't, I don't know what I'm playing, I'm like, pretending I know what I'm playing, and... She didn't miss any of the notes, actually, though. Like, she didn't miss any playing time. Yeah, yeah. Like, I actually somehow managed to do this in Hardcore. my, like, six pressure rests that I had before I had to play some really insane e -bear. We ended it together. Yeah. That was good. <laughs> and that's all that matters. That's all that really matters. Beginning and ending. Perfect. That's all people remember. People forget the middle. Yeah, they do. Like, like the part. Some of you might remember who, who were there at my senior recital. Where my keys got stuck. And so, like, it's the last move of the coffee of it. It's, like, super, like, crazy. And I'm going, right? And then, like, I realized my key is stuck, so my B-flat became an A. And I'm just like, <laughs> Apparently, people thought I was just being very expressive. Wish I was. I was being very expressive. But I was also trying to get a key back up. Oh, thank you, Mom. Meet us outside Macy's door. Sounds good. You have a YouTube channel too, right? Yes, I do. Can you tell them what the YouTube channel is? And I'll put it right here. Oh, Pepper Rocks D. I didn't mean to put the D when I made the username. I accidentally hit the D and then I didn't realize it until I made it. There will be a link below. Actually, I'll make it so that you can click her face and it'll go to her, her channel. Thank you so much. Thank you.